can see your ear, like your ear. <laughs> Today, we are headed to Lincoln City, Oregon. I woke up this morning to Jesse tapping on my shoulder and he says, do you wanna get up and you wanna to go to the beach? And I was like, bing, I'm awake. I love going to the beach, even if it's just for a day trip. We're gonna go thrifting, we're gonna take you antique shopping, and you're gonna see a little bit more than just his ear. <laughs> Our first stop today is the Goodwill Superstore here in Lincoln City. I think I might have just found a floor lamp for my office because I've been looking for something to put my wicker shade on. That's really large. Kind of liking this see how much it is. $12.99. We're definitely getting that. I'm also thinking this large coffee table, it's a beautiful oak table, might be a really good buy. It's $19.99 and I'm loving the top of it. It's a really big size, but it still has nice clean lines, even though it's probably 90s or maybe 80s. I'm thinking that could be a good flip. Let's see what Jesse thinks. This Chinese lamp is really interesting. It looks like a lantern and it says love on the bottom. And I'm gonna look up the Chinese symbol when I get home, but I'm pretty sure that that's gonna mean love in Chinese. Art is signed and I've never come across something like this. So I'm kind of excited to do a little bit more research when I get back home. This is a incredible find for at Goodwill. This is a piece of pottery made by a husband and wife duo out of Mato Ortiz, Mexico. Mato Ortiz pottery is such an incredibly skilled craft and it's such beautiful fine pottery that has incredible detail, design, symbolism, and shape to it. This pottery can be very valuable. Some of the pieces sell for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Unfortunately, this one has two major cracks throughout it. I do not think that this would make it through shipping so sadly I am going to pass on this incredible find today this is gorgeous look at the shape on that isn't that neat looks like a quality made piece too $7.99 I don't see any markings but we're gonna look that up because that's a really nice piece of glass kind of reminds me of an origami bird <laughs> Look at the size of this platter. That's beautiful. Could it's you? Like tooled leather. It does look like tooled leather. Oh, I love that. Let's see. It's made in Indonesia. Ooh, they got $24.99 on it, and red's not the color, half mm. off. Oh, I can't do it for $24.99. It's not that old. Yeah. yeah, if it didn't kind of have some of the discoloration, that would look cool with a lot of the terracotta stuff that we yeah. have. It's flawed. That's, well, I wonder if right? burning, to, they burn it to, for part of the process, but that just got a little, someone got a little carried away, maybe. <laughs> They're uh -huh. having too much fun with that fire gun. <laughs> This is a pretty piece of wood. <gasps> that almost looks like rosewood. Doesn't this kind of look like rosewood, babe? I don't know. It's signed, which is a good thing for, for a cup to be signed. It's definitely hand-turned. 
$4.99 blue. We're going to get that. One cup. It is one cup, but you know what I do with one cup? I put it with other one cups, and then I got a little collection. That's a really nice one. Maybe someone's missing one out of their collection, too. You never know. I'm the eternal optimist. We found another beautiful piece that is by the same artist. This is also $4.99, and this one's nice and heavy. It's a beautiful wood, whatever it is. I think it looks a lot like rosewood, but it's very, very nice quality. On the tooled leather, turn that around. I thought it was gonna be a lion, but it's, uh, who, it's who is he? I don't know. The saint? I don't know who that guy is. From Spain. From Spain. Hmm. Interesting. This is a pair of Mikasa candle holders. They're only $2.99 each, and typically these sell for like $40 or $50 for the pair. Might as well, right? $6? Yeah, that's a good buy. He had to take over my wide load so I didn't hit anybody. <laughs> yeah, long load, long load. Wide turns. <laughs> All right, we're ready to check out and head on to the next spot. Next up, we are checking out the Streetcar Village. So it's got a few stores over here, and then there's some more shops on this side. This is always a fun spot, and I already see a brass mid-century pagoda right here, a little plant stand that I'm probably gonna want. This is gonna be good. Ooh, they know what they've got. They've got $75 on it. Not enough room for margins, but those typically do sell for around 125. Look, we found Jean Pierre. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Is it a doorstop? I don't know. It's iron. $45. It's all right. We already got one, JP. <laughs> See another bucket list find of mine. Let's get over here and see how much the ice bucket is. Don't worry, it's not a penguin ice bucket. Two fifty. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh my god! And then there really is a penguin ice bucket. <laughs> oh. oh, this is special. Look at this. This one comes with Ooh, four ice cubes. Or hot foods. It's just, so a lot of people always say, why do you call it a penguin ice bucket? And I call it that because look, it's a penguin ice bucket. It is also technically called the hot and cold server, but saying, oh, look at the penguin hot and cold server doesn't sound as good as look at the penguin ice bucket. <laughs> look at this Egyptian chair. This is a copy I think of, let's see, is this from King Tut's? Yeah, it's a replica. That's so cool. So they have another one um, that I think is the original that goes around with the King Tut Museum that travels around. But I've never seen a replica like this. That's awesome. Like this cork frame. I would feel bad to take his photo and his plaque out. This was like an award, but <laughs> that could look neat with a piece of art in it instead. We 
maybe there's a Bitosi cat or a Lisa Larson cat in here. We got all the cats, except for those. These are really neat. I wonder if these were by the same artist that I actually bought a piece two years ago from this exact store. I might take those up and check. I ended up getting them for $10 each, 20 bucks for the pair, which I think was a great price. Factor is now owned by HelloFresh, and if you've watched my channel for a long time now, you know how much I love the convenience and the taste of HelloFresh meals. So when I heard about Factor and that they were owned by HelloFresh, I immediately was open to giving it a try. They have a wide array of meal plans to choose from. There's something for everyone. I love switching between the brands depending on whether I have the time to prep the meal or not. And now you can enjoy both brands at a discount with me. Between hosting international group travels, local Local flea markets and group shopping trips here in Oregon to say that Jesse and I have been busy this summer would be an understatement. With our delicious factor meals, we are able to skip the grocery store lines, the chopping, the prepping, all while getting the flavor and the nutritional quality that we need. An extra bonus, there are way less dishes to clean. Factors fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. So all you have to do is heat them up and enjoy and get back to your beautiful busy life. They've got gourmet plus options prepared to perfection by chefs and ready to eat in record time. Treat yourself with upscale meals and premium ingredients like broccolini, leeks, truffle butter, you know I love my truffle, and asparagus. And these meals are not just for dinner. Keep your energy up with lunch to go. Effortless, wholesome meals like grain bowls and salad toppers that are ready to eat when you are on the go. No microwave required this time. And if you are looking for calorie conscious options ahead of the busy season, try the delicious dietitian approved calorie smart meals with around or less than 550 calories per serving. With Factor, you can rest assured you are making a sustainable choice. They offset 100% of delivery emissions, source 100% renewable electricity for production sites and offices, and feature sustainably sourced seafood in meals. After a long day thrifting, video editing, or hosting a vintage market, Jesse and I look forward to coming home to a fast, healthy, and simple meal. And most importantly, importantly, delicious. Head to factor75.com or click on the link below and use code leftcoast50 to get 50% off your first factor box. We got shop dogs. <laughs> I'm busy getting my foot licked over here. But look at this beautiful piece of pottery. Ooh, this is gorgeous. Signed, $17.95, we're definitely gonna get it. She said at the front counter that she will make a deal for us at the very end and bundle everything we find together. So that's good incentive to really take our time and go through the store and find all of the hidden treasures. This Art Deco looking vase is signed on the bottom. It says made by Ethel and it's only $35. She said she's gonna do bundles up at the front once we've got a pile. So I'm hopeful maybe we can get this for around 25. These miniature cloisonne Japanese teapots can sell for a lot of money. These are so beautiful and I love the colors on this one with the deep purple. This would be so pretty if you took the lid off and you popped in just a few purple flowers. No need for this child's toy lion, but it's in really good condition and I thought it was cute, so I thought I'd show ya. Did 
Did you see these columns? Yeah. That's wild. I really love this vase a lot. This is beautiful. Wood inlaid vase, $60. She said she's pretty flexible on pricing. I might go ahead and at least ask and see where she would be at with this. rooms everywhere. Keep thinking it's the end. Maybe I'll find a tiki dress today. There's a couple tiki shirts here. Hawaiian shirts. Oh, the, this. What? Jesse, look at this one. That's like 70s perfection right there. Vintage pennies, town craft. I mean, quarter one. and our party is always going to be in August. August. Oh, but it's so cool. It's heavy. But what if we, yeah. It's also, it also doesn't fit either of us. So. It's also, There's also that. <laughs> 70s, 1970s medium, which means it's a today's like extra small. Yeah. It's so cool though. I've never seen that. There's some other good ones in here too. No dresses for me though. At least not yet. Wait, we haven't gone all the way. Ooh, this one's really silky. It might be all silk. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. Okay. There's a kid. Oh my god, it's a baby. I thought it was a toy. Oh my goodness, little baby. What's your name? Oh, it's purring. Oh, can we have it, babe? Maybe she doesn't want it. Maybe it's on sale. She's like a perfect mix for between Lorenzo and JP. She's half black and she's half tiger looking. I love her. What's with all the cats today? Look, it's like another Jean-Pierre. <laughs> that looks like him when he like gets it's like nervous. Like here, seen some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "What it's did my brother alert. do?" It's pretty. <laughs> oh, there's lots of cats. Lots of cats. Um, we can do thirty-five on it. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Yeah. I think it's Maloma Falls, in my opinion. I don't know if it really is, but I'm, I'm really going to call sure it. I'm not sure where it is exactly. Um, it is a unique piece. It is vintage. Um, our guy lives here, so I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, hi, kitty. Can the kitty come with it, too? <laughs> oh, I know, right? <laughs> What's your kitty's name? Um, that one is Moose. Moose? Yeah. She hooked me up. She gave me around 25 to 40% off each individual item, which led me to shopping even more. I had been eyeing this beautiful Moroccan brass display case on the wall, and I decided I might as well ask her if it is for sale. To my surprise, she said she would be happy to sell it to me. We went back and forth on pricing a little bit, and we settled on $125. I'm going to use this beautiful display case in my Moroccan-themed studio. You see that screw right there? Mm-hmm. That's it. We'll put it on a stud. Yeah. We'll have a stud. Put it on a stud. <laughs> there you go. That was well, a good one, good. Laura. That's a dad joke for you. <laughs> art. Yes. Boxes. I want one of these tramp art boxes so bad. I've been looking for a long time. You can see they retail $150, $195. Someday I'm going to thrift one. This one's cool. That's got lions. What if it would have been like LC? Then I would have had to have bought it, right? Um, I guess. That's how my logic works. <laughs> <laughs> Little Antique Mall is not so little, and it's one of my favorite spots in Lincoln City, Oregon. If you ever come to Lincoln City, you've got to make sure that they are open when you are here because this place is huge. There are two different levels. What I've noticed is the further back you get into the store, the better the pricing gets. I always find good deals, and I love learning about vintage, and this is a wonderful place to come and learn. Noticing this giant horse, twelve fifty. It's an old carousel horse, and then I spotted another one of these. This one is one twenty-five. It's much smaller. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's much smaller than the last one at the other store. There's some nice stuff in here. Nice. 
nesting tables are gorgeous. $3.95 for the set. Those are nice, huh? Which? Oh, it looks kind of like ours, doesn't it? $47. Uh, I can't think of anywhere we would need a random. So you have holes here, so. Oh, it had something kind of. Probably had a little piece in here with the light bulb holder. Mm -hmm. that with like three attached prongs. This way. And then that might have came up to something. It could have been pieced onto another thing too. I can't think of anywhere we need it though. No. We're good, but good eye. Check out this mirror. Hi, did you see this lighting fixture? Yeah. 145. I think in our dining room, I think we have to do a single because over the dining table because we already have the three on the island. That's pretty nice though. I do yes, like yeah. it. I like it with the wood. Gosh, I think I might have just found my tramp art. Now it's not thrifted, <laughs> but look at this beautiful picture frame. They've got $98 on it, and then the square box, they've got $85. And I'm gonna see if I can make an offer of $150 for both. <laughs> we already have cheesy palm trees for our tiki party, but. That could be fun. Jesse's shopping for me. Wow. That's cute. Let's do the back reveal. Ooh, look at all the beadwork. How much is it? Take a guess. Oh no, we're doing guesses. Uh, I'm gonna say 145. That is incorrect. Higher or lower? Um, so half of that would be 300, or well, double that. I mean, you know what I mean. It's 300 for reals. Yeah. Steep. Feeder or whoa, that's heavy. It's like a bone acre. Yeah. What? Not what I expected. Ooh, five dollars for this little teak wooden bowl. It would have had a lid on it originally, though. I think I'm gonna pass. Fringe. It's a kid size. Cute. Adorable. This is beautiful. Let's pull this out. Look at I got help here today, so I can show you. It's really nice. It's $67 though. It's definitely worth that, but we're going to pass on it because it's still hot outside. Look at that twirl. Got it down. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fail. I totally caught that on camera. <laughs> oh my gosh. There it is. Of course. Candle? Oh, it's an actual candle. It's a candle. What? Wow, oh, someone sure had fun good and crafty. Are these like resin? Think it's rocks. Oh, they melted the rocks into the wax. Wow. That's what people used to do instead of being on TikTok. <laughs> on our way back home, we're going to hit one more Goodwill in McMinnville, Oregon. And before I even thought I was getting started, I found a beautiful wooden bowl. It is These chairs are not for me, but I know this style is very popular. I've seen this exact style used in several HGTV shows recently. Unfortunately, this one has quite a bit of damage on one of them, so it's really just the pair. I don't need any extra chairs, and I'm not really selling a lot of furniture now that the flea market is over, but I know someone's going to be very excited when they come in and find these. What are you doing here? <laughs>
We found a few things here at this spot. I did end up putting back the pink vase because I Google image searched it while I was in line and it's actually a new reproduction made in China. And even Jesse found something. He picked up this onyx ashtray for $6.99. It's not just your ear this time. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I made the, the full camera shot? Yeah. Wow. I'm stepping up in the world. <laughs> I'm getting a bigger role every day. Oh my goodness. Welcome to YouTube, Jesse Caldwell. Wow. <laughs> well, we had a really I better great... work on my IMDB page. Wow, well, you better work on hitting that stop sign. <laughs> Well, we had a great time and we found some great treasures. We've got some stuff back here. I'm going to take it to the studio. I'm going to do some decorating with you. Do you want to do decorating with me, Jesse? No, thanks. <laughs> okay, he's just here for the shopping. We had a great time. Thank you so much for joining us today. And we will see you in the next adventure. What are you going to do? What's your signature goodbye? My signature yeah, goodbye? Yeah, I always go like this because I did it the first time in, little, in my first video. little finger twinkle? I finger twinkle. No. Um, what are you gonna do? I don't know. I feel like you gotta have a thing. Everybody has to have a thing. Can I just say goodbye? Go ahead. Goodbye. <laughs>